Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for August 3rd to August 9th 2018. So um, in case you are interested in a personal reading uh, make sure you check out my website listed down below in the description of uh, this video and don't forget that there is a um, Summer and sale going on, which uh, literally uh, regards to a 30 minutes service, and it adds 10 minutes on the top of those um, 30 minutes. So, that being said, um, shuffling now for Aries, four cards spread Tarot and Lenormand. And so, first with uh, the Tarot cards or with the Tarot reading. Now, the first position this is uh, a position regarding the topic of your week and the second position regards to the core of the situation here why the topic is happening then we do have the third card which uh, reflects to the challenges or things which are negative and you have to cope with and then uh, we do have the fourth card which is the guidance you uh, rather like to follow so let's see what you do have here, Aries. Is now the first card that will be the ten of um, Pentacles for the topic of the week. Obviously, I, a good week is is coming ahead with the ten of Pentacles. Now this card regards to stability. You know, it it does regards to one is holding their ground, and they they're not holding their ground against anything, but it's just. Um, one is reaping the fruits of their labor, you know, their hard labor until this very moment. Therefore, the Ten of Pentacles it is likely to provide you, or the, the topic of this week, it is likely to provide you with more personal freedom, more independence, and as well more opportunity for you to capitalize on a current undertakings that you are following until, until this very moment. And this card I like to... Um, I like to revisit like a uh, a card of building up trust or like a, a lost trust into certain people. So you that that particular week, uh, you could be approached from a, an old friend or from a, a ex lover, should we say that way, which they messed up in the past and now they want to make up for it. So that card is also could be revisited as a reconciliation here which one of the sides put a toils behind it to um, to achieve. Nonetheless, the Ten of Pentacles also asks us to think about how we can utilize whatever we can capitalize in that particular week. So we have to think about where we should invest, not just only money, because the, the material aspect is, is as well time, all right? So if you don't have the money to invest, Maybe you do have the time, maybe you do have the skills, or maybe you do have the knowledge which you can sell. What I mean is that you have to make use of, of your belongings here, so you can um, amplify them and uh, add more to um, you know to your benefits. So uh, this this particular week is going to be uh, most likely for you, Aries, is a week where you are going to be quite happy and proud of uh, the previous efforts that you have uh, given to either projects of yours or relationship of yours, as they are now going to give a certain results and you will, as I said, going to capitalize on them. And this is happening due to the fact with the Six of Wands. Now, what we are saying about the Six of Wands in a general reading, it's a milestone. So, obviously, you have worked quite hard, as I mentioned before, but that card points that you also will receive certain accommodations and the rewards for your work, and that may probably, or, you know, your performance into your relationship. And this is why you are going to be quite proud of yourself and you will be not cocky exactly but let's say eager for the lack of better term here you know to push even forward and to expand you know the boundaries of your um, of your benefits and the boundaries of your success as well uh, this card uh, is also pointing that you have to however recognize that the job is far from done now the six of wands is, again it's a milestone it is not a a job uh, a job finalized it is not a, a completion of a cycle 
Therefore, one should not drop off their guard, one should not uh, become lazy, one should not start slacking, but rather one should even work harder than before so can keep up that or can maintain, should I say, you know, the confidence, um, the opinions of others as well. So imagine that you have performed quite well in the previous week into your career, your boss accolades you for it, you know, gives you a certain rewards, uh, for example, manifesting in, I don't know, a raise in your salary on, or a bonus or a promise for you to be uh, promoted. And what you have to do is to even push yourself further to uh, accomplish uh, even a, a higher expectations of your boss so you can as well amplify those rewards into something even greater here and same goes into your relationship you know think may, things may go very well in there based on your performance until this very moment and therefore you should not take it for granted but continue on being polite you know being um, careful um, with your partner etc etc so what I'm trying to say here is, is that you should further on continue doing what you're doing until this very moment until it is not sealed what I mean you know seal the deal here then the next card is um, about the challenges that you have to overcome something negative that comes in and you have to cope with that will be a person here the knight of cups and uh, well, in a negative aspect, the Knight of Cups is a daydreamer. The Knight of Cups is someone who likes to speak a lot, but it doesn't have anything to support their statements in the sense of that this person could speak you for a very good project or for a very good experience if you spend time with them, etc., etc. And if you jump into that... Um, uh, into that uh, foolish statement here, it is likely that you may find yourself disappointed. That card as well may play a role as a, a seducer and this is from your end. So someone that is outside of your relationship tries to seduce you and tries to, you know, have a intimate time with you through flirting, you know, through text messaging as well, through calls. If you are quite... Um, quite close with one another so you have to be very careful now you need to know that in a negative aspect the king the knight of cups only cares about themselves and only cares about fulfilling the joy into their heart and their dreams they don't they don't care about your dreams um, therefore you may find yourself very hurt if you jump into that affair or you leave your boyfriend for that person for example because it is likely that they are going to dump you afterwards because they will find someone else that enthralls their heart further into the future and the last card that we do have here is the guidance how you should proceed with the ten of pentacles well i already covered that card now we do have a person working hard and it is working hard what we need what you need to do moreover here is that this what the guy is doing except of working hard the, uh, the guy is making coins the guy is making money so you got to start thinking about how you can cash in on your um, experience and under experience I mean as well knowledge I mean as well you know skills or positions as well because this is also something that you can sell information don't forget the information is one of the highest currency in this world the only higher higher currency than the information this is health so <clears throat> pretty much this card as well speaks that you need to be more open to the world and I'll tell you what I mean because uh, we may find ourselves very shy um, when we have to approach something or somebody uh, and that could play as a, a very um, backsetting jo a joke here uh, so uh, instead of uh, you know being shy this card asks us to have rather a little bit more confidence in ourselves and in our capabilities but also ask us to be more careful when we approach something quite unknown and before we uh, make our first moves it will be um, beneficial for us to uh, to thoroughly research 
and recreate the agenda or the project or the relationship for that matter before we actually make our first steps. The thing with that card is whatever we attend to in this particular week here as a follow up to the Ten of Pentacles, the capitalization of our previous job is that we have to attend first to the minor details, research them, reconnoiter for a people that are involved into the situation as well, you know, find their weaknesses or their strengths depending on what that situation is all about and then you, you act accordingly all right instead of foolishly jumping to it being overconfident we're talking about confidence but not overconfidence here so pretty much that was uh, the tarot reading for you Aries. now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and let's see what event you may occur in your um, in your environment again bear in mind that the Lenormand cards are very personal cards and uh, I don't know about their accuracy in a general reading for a star signs or for a group of people as well. So um, that event may uh, that event may or may not occur um, in your life this week. But let's see what you should look forward to or guard yourself from. So the first card that we do have that will be the letter. So we do have some sort of a. Um, um, a notification message you know or a document about money it is what we do have it is about money or a growth as we do have the fish card and then we do have the snake so the snake is a kind of like double-sided card it could speak for wisdom or it could speak as well for betrayal so <clears throat> what I can say here is that this event could be a uh, it could be a couple of things either you're going to be notified that you are betrayed about money or you're going to be notified that money can be won through wisdom so through something that you know or through some, like for example being a uh, a consultant here all right so that could be a proposition to consult something or it could be as well that you are notified someone is trying to um earn money on your account or is trying to steal money from you it's not about stealing here the snake doesn't steal the fox steal when it comes to uh, the normans but it could be a betrayal over money here and you're going to find this one out through either an email text message phone call is less likely but still possible all right so the notification will come in your way so that being said, uh, it does look like that you are, just to summarize that, it does look like that this is more career orientated week for you, Aries, uh, and uh, you have to, how can I place it, be very devoted to it. Uh, maybe you will have to work as well extra hours here and... Um, you will have to make a extra research you know how to maximize the the capitalization on your skills and on your efforts you know and on your uh, on your knowledge as well and be be careful about signing contracts or uh, tr uh, trusting you, yourself way too much into people that you haven't reconnoitered thoroughly all right and this is also when i look at these cards this is also a property of the six of wands here saying that uh you know you have to sometimes tr sometimes trust the the healthy sense of mistrust all right so don't be um don't be over trusting to into people so because they may um kind of take advantage of your kindness so that being said this was your weekly tarot reading for august 3rd to august 9th 2018 uh, September, excuse me, it is September 3rd to September 9th, 2018. Um, thank you for watching and in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video, which is my website. Rad signing out now. See you next time. Bye.